Robert Garrison Brown, son of Cody and Janelle Brown from the hit series Sister Wives, was laid to rest March 9th, according to a few family members. Garrison's cousin Emma posted a few tributes to Garrison on her Instagram. She writes, Dear Robert, I had to dress up for your funeral today, and this is everything I wish you you could have heard before I had to say goodbye. You were a son, a brother, a soldier, and a friend. If there is a God, I hope he's given you peace. I love you, Robert, writes Garrison's cousin, Emma. Leon posted this tribute to Garrison. This is from a movie. To the stars, Bowen, to the stars. Christine posted this sweet picture of Garrison at Gwendolyn's wedding. Every photo with Garrison in it is now infinitely more important than ever before. I am scrambling to just another glimpse of such an incredible man, brother, and son. McKelty took to a few of her social media accounts. On Instagram, she posted, But pains like water. It finds a way to push through any seal. There's no way to stop it. Sometimes you have to let yourself sink inside of it before you can learn how to swim to the surface. To love at all is to be vulnerable. Love anything in your heart will be wrung and possibly broken. She goes on to say, My heart breaks for my brother who's no longer with us, but it rejoices knowing he's with his fellow warriors in Valhalla. Drinking and fighting with Odin, I hope he is loving his place among the stars. Garrison was always the funniest person in the room. He was one cool dude, and I cry so much because my kids will never be able to experience his fun presence. But he will live on in all my family's memories. Have fun up there with the stars, little bro. You're missed. I was in Flagstaff last week with my husband and all of my family. It was for obvious reasons. My brother passed away, McKelty said. The mother of three told her followers that she is trying to find the silver lining amid the family tragedy. I always like to look at the bright side of everything, explained McKelty. The bright side of his passing is he's obviously no longer in pain or hurting or sad because he's in a better place, at least... I hope he's in a better place. She continued, The other bright side is I've got to see all my family together for the first time in years. And I think that ultimately, obviously, Garrison would have been happy by that. McKelty added, Garrison would have wanted the family to keep moving forward, Sharon. The other thing I know about Garrison is he wouldn't have wanted all of us to stop living our life or stop what we need to do. And what we want to do in hobbies and extracurricular activities, he wouldn't want us to stop it. The TLC star added, the family will continue to pay tribute to Garrison at upcoming events. She said, we do have more things for him in honor of him coming up this next month. And some more in the next couple of months. She said, there's a Brown family reunion in Wyoming and a lot of my family, most of them, are going to honor him. She then requested that followers give her and the Brown family privacy as they navigate the grieving process. Please don't ask me any questions about Garrison or about my family. Not my family. Sorry about the events around this, she shared. You can ask questions about my family, but not about events around this because I will break down crying. That literally breaks my heart. She goes on to say, I think most of my siblings, we've all pretty much agreed that none of our life is private, really, because our parents are public and the show. But this is ours. This is private, she added. McKelty also penned a touching tribute to Garrison on social media Monday after sharing two quotes about pain and experience in love, and we read those quotes earlier. The entire Brown family came together in the aftermath of Garrison's death. His funeral on March 9th was the first time the entire family was together in years, according to McKelty. Obviously, Garrison would have been happy by that, she said. 
like I said, my heart breaks for this family. It absolutely breaks for this family, the entire family. My heart breaks for his friends, his fans. This right here affects so many people. And it's so sad. Just keep everyone in your thoughts and in your prayers. Please respect people's privacy. Please know that people grieve differently. Just know that. Just give people grace. Give people respect. Please, in this serious situation, this is serious. Please take it serious. This is very sensitive. This is real. This family is grieving and this family just needs thoughts and prayers. Janelle especially. We know Janelle always talked about how her kids were her life. She spoke about it in a recent interview with Christine. Her kids are her world. Please lift everyone, especially Janelle, up in your thoughts and prayers. Give the family some respect, please. Let's not be hateful, negative, and snarky at this time. This is not the time to pick people apart. It's really not. I love y'all so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to all. I love y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video.